this is a very special day. And I am honored and humbled to see this day arrive. I'm also delighted and excited that so many of you who are present allowed this day to come into existence. The dream of an LCME medical school with a comprehensive and cutting edge medical simulation center was born in 2014. The medical school and this simulation center were not envisioned just so that we could unveil a first class and impressive facility. The vision is focused on improving the quality of healthcare for the Virgin Islands and stimulating and diversifying the economy of the Virgin Islands. The existence of this facility will ensure that our local medical practitioners and medical students will receive the most up-to-date training available so that they can better serve the people of this territory. We also wanted to attract physicians from around the nation and the world who want to be trained in one of the most sophisticated facilities in one of the most beautiful places in the world and help stimulate the economy even more. We believe that in the future it will attract medical device companies who want to be located close to a facility like this one in the Caribbean. And finally, as I hope you will see once you do the tour, we believe that this center, because of the technology that it has, because of the sophisticated mannequins that you will see, will turn on an imagination and innovation light in the minds of middle school and high school students so that they can start pursuing careers that they did not even know existed. With the advent of AI, anything that's repetitive and even things that are not will be able to be produced and done by computers. What will be the value of the people who can think, create, and yes, Dr. Hall, dream of the, one, of the things that are to come in the future. Without that, we are nothing. So from a small island, the vision is, is to be able to create individuals that can work remotely from here to anywhere in the world, that we can begin to create and think and ideate different concepts that can be sold in a worldwide basis as intellectual property. So today, as we sit here with not a dream deferred, but one that's alive, well, and kicking, we have to maintain and pursue a course that will lead us on to this medical school. As Director Navarro has said in the past, we know that medical simulation as an educational methodology has proven benefits, including increased patient safety, better patient outcomes, and improved resource and liability management. The investment in the Medical Simulation Center also complements and supports the territory's investments in other industries as well. The center will attract global healthcare organizations and high-tech and biomedical firms to the territory as a place to provide training and conduct research. Critically, the center will help to create and retain over 500 jobs. With these beautiful islands set as a destination location for providing innovative, quality training, it's anticipated that conference attendees, corporate executives, and others will travel to the, to the territory and it will boost the economy. The spillover effects to local hotels and restaurants and shops will really uh, help to make the area more resilient. To the UVI staff, faculty, everyone that had a hand in this project, thank you. Thank you for your resilience. Thank you for your determination and your teamwork to make this happen. So UVI is moving forward and you keep it moving forward. So I am so proud to be a part of this community and I'm so proud of where we're headed. Thank you. <laughs>